Can you describe HCCI again? No. Yeah, so what homogenous charge compression edition is, is they have, you know, everybody here I'm sure has taken the MAE 91 and 115 courses, and I'm sure you're familiar with um, engines. So you have auto cycle and diesel cycle. Uh, what HCCI does, it, it, it combines the two, um, the best components from each of them. So with an auto cycle spark ignition engine, um, a, a homogenous charge is sucked in. So both gas and air is already pre-mixed and sucked into the engine cylinder. Um, that mixture is compressed with a spark plug initiating the uh, initiating the burning of the fuel. And so the problem with that is that uh, they're at very high combustion temperatures. So the, the combustion temperature is usually on the order of about 2200 Kelvin or so. Um, the reason that's bad is that's about where NOx forms. So actually, if you go back to the, the, the second or third slide, yeah. um, we have a nice graph for you that shows the area. So this on the left side is equivalence ratio, so that's the, the ratio of theoretical error versus stoichiometric. I'm sorry, of actual error versus stoichiometric. So the lower down here means you have excess air, higher means you have a fuel-rich mixture or too little air. Okay, so um, this is the spark ignition region, so this is the, the, the normal auto cycle car ignition region. The problem with that is, if you notice the combustion temperature on the bottom, it's getting well up in that NOx formation range, okay? And so uh, the reason you can't go lower and get the temperature lower and go to a um, lower um, equivalence ratio is because um, with that you have a, a problem with flame propagation. So if your mixture is too lean, your flame front won't propagate throughout the entire cylinder. You'll, you'll still have unburned hydrocarbons um, and it won't uh, completely burn. Now, on the other side, conversely, you have diesel. So with diesel, you have something called stratified charge combustion. Okay? So with stratified charge, what that means is that only air, and, or only air is sucked into that cylinder. So with a, um, an auto cycle engine, remember, that's a homogenous charge. So air and gas is sucked in. Okay? With a diesel, it's just air. So it sucks in air. It compresses that air. Okay? So remember, it compresses that air. It gets it hot enough past the auto ignition temperature of the diesel fuel, okay? So diesel is a very, it's more energy dense fuel than um, normal gasoline is. Um, and that, uh, that diesel, or I'm sorry, that air inside the cylinders is compressed beyond the uh, auto ignition temperature of that diesel. So what happens at that point is there's an in-cylinder fuel injector that injects the fuel. Okay, that's called a stratified charge. So it injects the fuel in there in, in almost a squirt, okay? So now the, um, the problem with that is you get something called an effusion flame front, okay? So, with a spark ignition, you have that, that flame front propagation from the spark plug. With a stratified charge, you have a diffusion flame front. So the fuel only burns on the edges of that, that stream, okay? Only when there's an interface between fuel and air. Um, that leads to a very fuel-rich portion and poor mixing um, for that flame front. So you, um, you get a lot of soot. So you get a lot of unburned hydrocarbons, you get a lot of soot, and also, um, since diesel is a less refined fuel, you get a lot of sulfur emissions as well. So what HCCI does is combines both the, um, the, the best aspects of, of the auto cycle and the diesel cycle engine. So what it does, it takes an homogenous charge like the auto cycle engine does, so everything's already pre-mixed, and it takes the compression ignition from the diesel. Okay, so what that does, it's gonna compress that homogenous charge until the point of auto ignition. And the point of auto ignition is opposed to having a flame front propagating like an auto cycle from the spark plug out, or a diesel on that diffusion flame front as soon as it reaches that auto ignition temperature, the entire mixture will burn evenly at once. Okay, so it's going to compress and burn evenly at once. Reducing, again, because remember that equivalence ratio problem I talked about, where if you have too low of an equivalence ratio, so you have too much air, too fuel lean, that flame front will propagate with, from the spark plug. It might die out or it might not happen at all. If it happens all at once, there is no flame front propagation. It's just one big bang, if you will. Okay, so that's what homogenous charge compression ignition aims to do, is it aims to Reduce emissions by um, reducing the combustion temperature because you have more air that um, the more air in the cylinder can absorb the latent heat released from that fuel. So it cools combustion temperatures into this region over here. Okay, so into this region over here, so you get low NOx emissions, but also you don't have any soot formation because you don't have that fuel-rich interface of the stratified charge and the uh, diffusion flame. Make sense? Yeah. Sure. <laughs>